Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day. I have to, I don't know what day it is anymore. It's definitely not nine. Day three of the Lico May Daily Challenge. Clicking the button doesn't seem to. Oh, okay, work twice. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. It is going to be. De -de 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 compare version numbers. Yeah, hit all the buttons. I'm a little bit chipper today, a little bit uh, uh, happy today. Uh, did a couple of things, N nothing too crazy. Um, I, I went nine miles today, so that was just you know that. So I'm a little bit tired, but other than that, uh, my my computer science teacher from uh, high school, which is many many decades ago, uh, just retired, and we went me and a bunch of old high school kids uh, went to his retirement. So it's always nice to see full circle kind of thing. Uh, and the next one, which is also good because, you know, as a, it's it's been a while since the next one, anything. So uh, hopefully maybe, you know, get a little bit lucky, get a little bit good and we'll see. Anyway, let's take a look at today's form. Compare version numbers, okay? Uh, we return zero of the same, okay? Uh, does not, which means, okay. So then now we basically get the thingy. Um, <clears throat> I think the, the most critical part about this um, that we want to do is just normalize, right? Uh, they all valid version numbers, okay? Do, 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 do. Yeah. So I mean, I think the the biggest thing is just normalizing it, right? So then maybe we can do something like um, we one is equal to version one dot split period, right? We two is equal to version two dot split period, right? And then now this will give us an array with strings, which is maybe fine. It should be fine. Actually, we can even just map int it, right? Map it to int. Why not? Right? Do I, I always forget whether this gives me a list or an iterator. So maybe I'll print it out real quick and then we'll return just, you know, a, a nonsensible reason. Uh, okay, yeah, this is, so I was wrong. It doesn't give us either. So we have to convert it to a list. Not a terrible thing, and of course, probably you see this much replication, then we probably should have a uh, uh, a do not repeat yourself. Uh, maybe uh, get list or something, right? Uh, so string or version, right? And then you can just return this thing. Um, yeah, and then that now we one is just you go to get get list version one. <laughs> And then the other part about normal, so now we have um, an array with just like makes it easier to compare. They're ints, very friendly. But the thing is that, of course, we may not have the same number of fingies, which probably should be fine, but I want to be lazy, right? So then I can maybe just do something like, wow, well, length of v1 is less than length of v2. We can just append zeros. And we can also do the same for the other side. Right, maybe we can also uh, do not repeat yourself here, dry it up, but yeah, and then now we can just do a really quick for loop. Uh, so for I don't know, uh, uh what do they call the things like the, the sub versions? Ah, let's just go S for sub versions in zip of v1, v2, right? Then now we can do if. Uh, and here we assume that if, if, if we don't terminate early, we we'll return zero. So yeah, so then if S1 is less than S2, we return negative one. If S1 is greater than S2, then we return one. And that's it, I believe. Unless I, you know, I, I, I make a lot of mistakes. So. Okay, looks good here. Um, the one thing that I would say is that given given these examples, we never return one. We def given that there's only three things to return, we definitely want to um, make sure that we have one thing that returns a one, just in case. Uh, yeah. Okay, looks good. So let's give it a submit, and it looks good. I don't know why there's so many downloads. There's so many downloads here on this one, but it looks pretty straightforward. Um, what's the time complexity or time space complexity? It's going to be. Uh, linear time, linear space. I think if you really, really want to do this the uh, the optimal way, you can definitely do it with 
constant space by just keeping track of pointers and making sure that you get like uh, maybe you could convert it to an iterator that can, gives you a token at a time and int at a time but maybe that's how you get in trouble and then you have to end up voting downloads I don't know I'm a little bit lazy today that's all I have for this one I am going to do an extra one I just don't find this interesting but uh, yeah I'm going to do an extra problem after this so stay tuned but that's all I have for this one thanks for watching Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.